So I'm not very good at art. I have been drawing maps for a very long time, and so I've honed my abilities for map making, and I believe I'm pretty good at it. But when it comes to things like architecture, or drawing people, or even drawing nature, I'm not really the best. So I want to start working on that. In fact, one of my challenges for this year is to draw people a lot more, and I've already improved a ton. I'm still learning, and I'm not still not the best, but it's slowly getting there. And so I am going to start drawing uh, different architecture and people and places from my daily maps, and I hope you guys really enjoy seeing these. I started off filming this map more of like a energetic come draw while I give you some commentary kind of vibe, but I kind of changed to more of this voice over while I draw and different cuts and I, um, just trying to test out different editing styles. It's interesting learning, <laughs> I'm learning art and drawing while at the same time learning how to edit which is on its own, its own art. My hope with this video, or at least one of my hopes, is that it will inspire you as well to go draw just for the sake of drawing and learning. Um, I know it's sometimes nerve-wracking to put yourself out there and try and draw, and maybe you're afraid of making a mistake, but that is the point of learning, is making mistakes. You will make mistakes, but it's for you to decide whether those mistakes are fun or not. So I just hope that this video um, inspires you to go make some mistakes.
So I was planning on drawing the entire city of Serica, but I eventually started getting kind of bored. Um, right about here, I was just, I was drawing the buildings and then I was like, you know what, I'm getting a little, bo little bit of bored. Um, I probably could have drawn it over multiple days instead of just this one day. That would have been a better idea. And then I could have filled in the rest of the city better. I did. But I turn it turned out pretty well. I like the front building a lot. So Serica is a steampunk fantasy city from my map Araceli and I wasn't really sure how to make it steampunk fantasy because the rest of the map is fantasy and this was like the only steampunk thing so I was trying to figure out the whole time how to make it a steampunk fantasy city but I, it kind of turned out well. It looks more like a steampunk Victorian which I mean is pretty much what steampunk is or steampunk gothic. Steampunk gothic would be interesting though. But if you do want uh, Araceli, which is the map that Serica is on, uh, it is the first link in the description. Uh, just be forewarned, it goes away on May 31st. Uh, so if you want it, you should get it soon. Big thanks for watching this video, it means a ton. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.